finally someone has said it. Um, we've got a conservative talk show host, Charlie Sykes, uh, and he says, yeah, oops, Donald Trump, yeah, we created that monster. Now, when he's trying to point out to his audience, and he's deeply conservative, but some of the things that Donald Trump is saying is just not true, they don't believe him, because they don't believe anything anymore. So he went on Facebook and explained. He said, we have basically eliminated any of the referees, the gatekeepers. There's nobody. Let's say that Donald Trump basically makes whatever you, you, you want to say, whatever claim he wants to make, and everybody knows it's a falsehood. And I'll say New York Times did a fact check, and they'll say, oh, that's the New York Times, that's bullshit. There's nobody. You can't go to anybody, ask, say, look, here are the facts. So in other words, he's saying, we, we told our audience for decades to never trust the New York Times, never trust the media, never trust anybody. So now they don't trust them. And when I'm trying to tell them, no, 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 New York Times actually did a fact check. It's real. They go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, they say, it says, and I have to say that's one of the disorienting realities of this political year. You can be in this alter, alternative media reality and there's no way to break through it. I swim upstream because if I don't say things from some of these websites, then suddenly I've sold out. Then they'll ask what's wrong with me for not repeating these stories that I know not to be true. Well, uh, I believe that's called the chickens coming home to roost. All of you conservative talk show hosts, commentators, uh, and Republican politicians, you made your bed, now you got to lie in it. In fact, he agrees, he says, when this is all over, we have to go back. There's got to be a reckoning on all this. We've created this monster. And that monster is not just Donald Trump, what he's referring to is all the conservatives in the country who just don't believe in facts anymore. They don't care about facts and they live in an alternate reality. I've been telling you about this all throughout. In this campaign, it's even starker. You know, A majority of uh, people supporting Donald Trump don't believe that, Donald, uh, that Barack Obama was born in the United States, even though he was. A majority of them believe that he's a Muslim, even though he's not. They don't believe in reality. They just don't believe it. And it goes on and on. There's amazing examples where Republican uh, voters and supporters go, nope, not interested in science, not interested in your stinking education, and not interested in your media, not interested in your reality. And now one of their own is admitting it. And he says, look, I'm a conservative talk show host, and all conservative talk show hosts have basically established their brand as being contrasted with the mainstream media. So we have spent 20 years demonizing the liberal mainstream media. And by the way, a lot of has been a lot has been justifiable. There is a real bias. But at a certain point you wake up and you realize you have destroyed the credibility of any credible outlet out there. And I feeling to a certain extent that we are reaping the whirlwind at that. And I have to look in the mirror and ask myself, to what extent did I contribute? And the answer, Charlie Sykes, is a lot. Not specifically as one individual, but as an industry, conservative pundits went after scientists on climate change. They went after professors and said, oh, they live in their ivory towers, don't believe their education. They went after the media. They went after anyone who would bring you facts. And instead, they tried to fill your brain with their right-wing propaganda instead. And now, yes, you're reaping the whirlwind. You have created a significant minority of Americans that are zombies, that are not interested in this reality-based world. They're interested in propaganda that they are spoon-fed. They don't want to hear the stinking truth. They want to just have their worldview confirmed. That worldview is full of, filled with anger and fear and paranoia. So when a guy like Donald Trump steps into the void, and provides them the exact anger and fear they're looking for. They're like, yes, that's my guy, right or wrong. I don't even know what wrong is anymore. I don't care. I don't care about the facts. I just want that anger and fear. Yes, that's the monster you created. Young Turks membership gets you the two-hour show every single day. Watch it any way you like. Download it, stream it. You also get no ads at all. On top of that, you get the post game. On top of that, you get really cool show, shows like Old School. On top of that, you are the independent media. I know what you're thinking now. Can't wait. TYTnetwork.com slash join. Don't wait.